from Miami Valley veterans and seniors will soon have a new place to call home, not far from their old home. Now, the Dayton VA campus gearing up for a first-of-its-kind groundbreaking. New Center 7's Laren Livingston in the News Center working the story for us. Laren? James, we're talking dozens of low-income, high-quality apartment homes for veterans and non-vets alike. Welcome to Lions Place 2. It has taken us more than six years to do this project. The latest undertaking by St. Mary's Development Corporation, a nearly $8 million six-acre plan which will provide close to 70 beds for vets and seniors two years and older. One of the things that's most important is a place to call home. If you don't have a home, you never feel at peace. You know, our veterans are uh, the source of our freedom. Uh, they have given many of them their lives and have given their time and dedication, put their lives at risk. Uh, we need to honor them. Representative Mike Turner says the plan is the first time the Departments of Veterans Affairs and Housing and Urban Development have worked together to provide this kind of housing. Legislation is in the works to improve that working relationship to hopefully lead to even more long-term units like this one in the future. These are all taxpayers' dollars, and as we look to both supporting seniors and supporting our veterans, these are the types of projects that will make a difference to the community. Very good day for veterans. Herbert Burton is a Korean War vet who works with homeless veterans. They have served their country well and with distinction, and uh, it's nice to see the veterans getting some recognition. Construction is expected to start later this fall and finish in the fall of 2014. Reporting live, Laren Livingston, New Center 7.